Hello, today we'll be talking about Kakuna Wheels Evolution at level 7. Kakuna's past PYC dates are March 11th, 1996, December 31st, 1998, October 21st, 2001, August 11th, 2004, June 2nd, 2007, March 23rd, 2010, January 11th, 2013, November 2nd, 2015, August 23rd, 2018, and June 13th, 2021. When I look at Kakuna, I see two things in the middle part, either two hands or a necktie, and so I made it this channel's logo during this project. Let's get into the Bulbapedia article. Welcome to the Bulbapedia section. Uh, we're doing Kakuna, the Cocoon Pokemon, which is 0014. This is what it looks like. Its type is Bug Poison, its ability is Shed Skin, uh, its gender ratio is 50-50, its catch rate is 120, or 24.9%. Breeding, its uh, egg group is Bug, its hatch time is 15 cycles, its height is 2 feet, or 0.6 meters, its weight is 22 pounds, or 10 kilograms, its base experience yield is 71 in the first four gens, but then gained one in uh, gen 5. Its leveling rate is medium fast, its EV yield is 2, both in defense, its shape is that, it has no footprint, so it's a cocoon, its Pokedex color is yellow, its base friendship is 70. Kakuna is a dual type bug poison Pokemon introduced in Gen 1. It evolves from Weedle starting at level 7 and evolves into Beedrill starting at level 10. Kakuna is a yellow insect cocoon-like Pokemon. Kakuna has a dome-shaped head and black triangular eyes with glowing white pupils. It has two scythe-like arms in the middle of its body. When it comes close uh, to evolving, its body gives off uh, heat that makes it uh, warm to the touch, Kakuna remains virtually immobile and waits for evolution, often hanging from tree branches by long uh, silk strands. When it's when attacked, however, it can extend its poison barbs. Uh, Kakuna nests uh, in temperate forests and misty wooded areas. Occasionally, it will also nest at the mouth of tunnels and caves, as seen in Pokemon Snap. Its evolution, uh, Kakuna evolves from Weedle and evolves into Beedrill. We got all these. Um, got it in the anime, and that's its original uh, evolution method, I assume it. Like, uh, like Metapod, just did like the Flash now. Yeah. Uh, anyway. For the Pokedex entry, I've already recorded the anime uh, reading of this, so I'm gonna let the professional do it, and we'll cut back in a few seconds. Kakuna, a transitional stage between Weedle and Beedrill. Kakunas remain inactive until they evolve into deadly Beedrills and hatch. Welcome back, and it's in Pokemon Origins, and then, okay, this is in the manga, um, yep, and the TCG. Yeah, game data, Pokedex entries, in red and blue. Almost incapable of moving, this Pokemon can only harden its shell to protect itself from predators. In yellow, able to move only slightly when endangered, it may stick out its stinger to poison and poison its enemy. In stadium, because it is virtually motionless, it may appear dead, in dead. instead, no, inside, however, a new body is being made. In Gen 2, in gold, uh... Although it is a cocoon, it can move a little. It can extend its poison bars if it is attacked. In silver, from this new form, it will grow into an adult. As its body becomes softer, the external shell hardens. In crystal, nearly incapable of movement, it leans against stout trees while waiting for its evolution. Gen 2 is the same as gold, ruby and sapphire. In Gen 3, Kakuna remains virtually immobile as it clings to a tree. However, on the inside it is extremely busy as it is as it prepares for its coming evolution. This is evident from how hot the shell becomes to the touch. In emerald, it remains virtually immobile while it clings to a tree. However, on the inside it busily prepares for evolution. This is evident from how hot its shell becomes. Fire red. This Pokemon is a temporary stage while making its body. It is almost completely unable to move on its own. Leaf green, almost incapable of moving. This Pokemon can only harden its shell it to protect itself when it is in danger. Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, uh, in Gen 4. While awaiting evolution, it hides from predators under leaves and in nooks of branches. Heart gold and soul silver are their gold and silver counterparts. All of Gen 5 is the same as Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. In Gen 6, X is Leaf Green. Y is Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, and Gen 5. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are the same as their Ruby and Sapphire counterparts. For Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, it's the same as the Yellow Pokedex entry. For Gen 8, uh, and Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, those are the same as Diamond and Pearl. Game locations. You got side games. Uh, held items. Pokemon caught in Gen 1 must be traded to a Gen 2 game in order for a held item to appear. So if you transfer from red, blue, and yellow, you get a berry. Its stats, base stats are 45 HP, 25 attack, 50 defense, 25 special attack, 
uh, 25 special defense and 35 speed to make it 205. Uh, this Pokemon special base stat in Gen 1 was 25. Pokathon stats, these are it. Type effectiveness, uh, it's damaged normally by normal, ground, ghost, steel, water, electric, ice, dragon, and dark. It's weak to flying, rock, fire, and psychic for double, immune to nothing. A resistant to fighting, poison, bug, grass, and fairy. That's one fourth for, uh, fighting and grass, but a half for poison, bug, and fairy. Uh, in Gen 1, the effectiveness of bug type moves is double, so it went from double to half. Uh, in, uh, Gen 1, the effectiveness of Poison type moves is 1, so it went from 1 to 1 half. TCG only moves, you got Poison Powder, Rollout, and Headbutt, which are all these. Um, in the side game data, um, you got all this, okay. Poka Park Wii, Pikachu's Adventure. Kakuna fell off the white tree at the entrance of the, to the haunted house in the haunted zone. In Poka Park 2, Wonders Beyond, Kakuna don't do anything particular when they are together, but they feel safe being together. How that, then you got the evolution data again. So then sprites, you got this. Very scary, these two, yeah, it doesn't have like the white part of the eyes yet, so they're very, very scary looking. Yeah, you get to see it pointing out the things instead of being inside. Which I think, I think this might be the only sprite that actually has it out. We'll see, though. Um, then, of course, the green. I'm sure I've mentioned that one already. Uh, yep, and now it gets a little lighter. Yep, and now yeah, we got all this. Uh, it's basically the same. Maybe slight color variations throughout, but yeah, it doesn't really get, go through many great design changes. Um, but yeah, you got that one. And this just looks like it's all one piece. It actually, this was probably the one that most looks like a tie than these guys. Like, they just got the split. You got, you can understand that those are two parts. There is no split here. Or the, the slit is so thin, you cannot even really see it. Uh, anyway, for trivia, we did this one. This first one, when we did Metapod. All of these things, all of these, and the sub points here. Um, yeah. Kakuna has... The lowest base attack stat of all poison type Pokemon. In Pokemon Red and Blue Beta, Cocoon was the prototype English name for Kakuna. This is similar to the Romanized Japanese name. The arms on Kakuna seen in Red and Blue sprites are commonly mistaken to be a sprite error as they are rarely shown in other media. They have so far only been shown in its Red and Blue sprite and a uh, po Pocket Monsters Bandai, Bandai card, this thing. Kakuna as evolutionary relatives were designed by Atsuka uh, Nishida. Kakuna's English name resembles uh, a Japanese name translating perfectly into that uh, than its actual uh, Japanese name, Kakun. For the origin, uh, Kakuna appears to be based on the pupil stage of a bee or a wasp. Its tendency to dangle from a thread, as seen in the anime and some uh, spin-off games, may also be based on certain present parasitoid wasps whose larvae construct hanging cocoons. Name origin, Kakuna may be a corruption of Cocoon. Uh, Cocoon is literally Cocoon. <laughs> yeah, it's very basic. Uh, yeah, and then you yeah, got all the languages, related articles. Yeah, I got all these. Okay. Yep, that's it, buddy. That was interesting. Let's see Kakuna's first scene in the anime. Hello, and welcome to the anime portion of the video. We are continuing with Challenge of the Samurai. We started that a couple days ago. Um, yeah, and so, in this episode, uh, Ash, our main character, uh, who is traveling with Misty and Pikachu, um, has just fought, uh, the samurai, uh, in a metapod battle, um, and a Beedrill has taken Ash's metapod, uh, they've just ran away from a swarm of metapod, or of, a swarm of Beedrill, um, and now they're resting, they're catching their breath. <sighs> See the Kakuna here on the tree. That's probably where we stop for the uh, for the day. Uh, hope you enjoyed Kakuna's first appearance, or uh, first scene in the anime. Uh, let's move on. Let's see why people love Kakuna. Let's look at the fan art. Hello and welcome to the fan art section of the video. Uh, we didn't get any fan art, so we're doing Deviant Art fan art instead. Uh, for those of you familiar with the series. Uh, the, you might be wondering why we're on this, uh, single image page. That's because, uh, this is the only image we're doing today, so, yeah. Uh, this is, uh, Kakuna, number, uh, 014 by Kuitsuku. Um, it, you know, it's this little cute, kind of stylized, uh, Kakuna here. 
And yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, bye. Thanks to everyone who submitted fan art. I won't be streaming tonight as I need to talk about Ekans. Where I can evolve Weedle into Kakuna. Tomorrow I'll be talking about Beedrill. As always, this isn't my proper outfit and you'll see me tomorrow.